What's up you guys, Zach here with a first time Lightroom and Photoshop tutorial. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna quickly show you how you can change your photos from looking like this to this in a matter of seconds. So let's get right into it. First thing you wanna do is open up Lightroom. Now this whole process, if you don't have Lightroom, um, skip forward to this section here. I'm just gonna show you how to do it in Photoshop. But for now, let's start in Lightroom. So we're just gonna go quickly through here and just kind of make it look the way we want it. So I'm gonna play around with the contrast, boost out these little shadows here, uh, maybe crush the blacks. Yeah, it's killing some details. So I'm gonna leave it the way it is. Then I'm gonna scroll down um, and play around with my clarity. So let's just boost up that clarity. I like the clarity boosted up. I like it being just a slight bit of a vignette. This is starting to look a lot better to what I want. Um, super quickly, I'm going to play around with my tint. So I'm gonna lower the blues down so that becomes a lot more prominent within there. And then basically I'm gonna go into my color mixer now and boost up my oranges that I have within the shot. And then I'm gonna change the hue of them so they have a little bit more red in them because I want those boosted out red rocks. And then I'll go into the blues and change my blues over to being a little bit more tealy. by moving it over to this way. And already this image is kind of looking the way that I want it. And um, it's still looking a little contrasty, so we'll kind of lower down that contrast. And this is getting to be in a good spot to where I want it to be. Okay, so I made my adjustments, done all the fine tuning. Now this is up to you, up to your preferences. Now here's where the second stage comes in very valuable. So now what I'm gonna do is right click my photo. I'm gonna do edit in Photoshop. This is gonna open up Photoshop for me. And this is where the real magic happens. And for those of you who have just started watching this, you skip forward to the Photoshop section, welcome to the, the tutorial. All right, so now the photo is in Photoshop. Next step that I'm gonna do is unlock my, my photo right here by right or double clicking the lock box. And the next thing that I'm gonna do is actually import some photos. Now in my downloads bin, I've downloaded a couple stock images of cloud. So you, you can go online and actually download some for yourself. There's a lot of royalty free uh, stock photos that you can get. So I'm gonna choose the cloud coverage that I like. I mean, I kinda like this textured sky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab it, drag and drop it over top of my photo, and then bring it and scale it so that it fits the background. So I'm gonna go like so. Now you're like, okay, Zach, there's clouds and it's over top of him. Where are we going with this? Okay, the next thing that you wanna do is go into your blend modes, go into overlay, and that's gonna make your clouds kind of pop out in the background. And already it's looking pretty funky. So the next thing that we wanna do is actually create a mask now. So we're gonna go into our little add layer mask, boom, change this over to black, and then grab a brush. Then we're gonna scale in our brush and get rid of kind of wherever those clouds are coming in on top of those mountains because it's making it look super contrasty. And we don't want that. And now we've got like this crazy textured sky in the background, it gives us a lot more depth. So this is already show you, so this is without, this is with the clouds in. But maybe you're like, Zach, this looks a little too fake. The other thing you can do is just kind of adjust your opacity so the clouds don't look super duper intense. And then what I'm actually gonna do is add a new layer here and just add a bit of um, darkening around the areas that I don't want the audience to be super distracted by. So right now I think these mountains look a little, little too pungent. So I'm just gonna paint some black onto this and maybe I'll just kind of do a little bit on these rocks. That's kind of looking good. And then what I'm gonna do is change the opacity just very subtly. So now if we do like that, it doesn't look so distracting and our, and our person punches out a lot more. Now that is a super fast way on how you can enhance your photos, utilizing just adding some clouds in the background can add so much texture. I use this technique quite a bit on photos that I think don't have a lot of depth to them. Just imagine if you're not shooting on a cloudy day, half of your frame is just gonna be pale blue. That's all it's gonna be, just blue in the background, no depth to it. And it's like that, if that's half your frame, you're really kind of backed into a bit of a corner. So utilizing something like Photoshop just to add a little bit of clouds into your shot can really add a lot of depth to it. If you're curious about adding this into maybe video, I have a link to a tutorial that I made in the description. I highly recommend trying this out to give your photos a little bit more depth. I trust me 100%, it helps out so much. And that's about it. I'm about to go to bed. I'll see you guys later. Have a good night. And that is all. Take care. Keep making some great stuff.